Hi there. Oh, welcome to this devotion on a cloudy and strange weathered evening. I started in the construction industry in the 80s. And in case you're wondering, it's the 1980s. And the industry was known for three things back then. Safety boots, hard hats and vile language. And it was bad. Um, just to let you know, if this was during the times of Leviticus 24, a lot of the guys in the industry would have been executed. They would have been stoned by the community. The blasphemy was terrible. It was really, really was sad. But the industry has changed over the years. And I'm play pleased to say that we still have the hard hats and safety boots. But the swearing and the blasphemy is all but, but cleared up. The Jews, on the topic of blasphemy, were so reverent, are so reverent of the name of God, they don't even say God's name. When they come across God's name while reading scripture, they just say Hashem. Hashem, which means the name. And everyone understands when you're reading scripture and you say the name, you wouldn't understand. It's God. It's our Lord. The name, and everyone just knows Hashem. But in doing so, they, they make sure they don't curse God's name. They don't even say God's name in the wrong tone. They, they say Hashem, the name. Now, now, this sounds all very foreign to us. I mean, to avoid blaspheming God's name, just don't say it at all. I mean, that's, that's, that's strange for us. But what is blasphemy anyway? Um, is it when you, we say the name of God? Or is it when we say the name of God as a swear word? Well, I just want to pause for a moment and, and, and unpack what is blasphemy. There's this, there's this Jewish, Jude, Judean saying, um, Chalul Hashem, Chalul Hashem. And this means that you desecrate the name of God by, by behaving badly in front of others. In front of Jews or Gentiles, it doesn't matter. You're desecrating the name of God. If you break the law, if you misbehave, um, you are desecrating the name of God. Chalul Hashem. You're bringing disgrace, dishonor to the name of God. And I must be honest, I like that. Because as Christians, when we, when we do something wrong, we are misrepresenting Jesus. We are actually desecrating desecrating the name of Christ. You know, this is Chalul Hashem. This is blasphemy. As a Christian, if you steal, if you behave unethically, if you misbehave, you are blaspheming the name of God. This is Chalul Hashem. This is blasphemy. But you know, what's the opposite? The opposite is Kedush Hashem. You are upholding the name of God. You are honoring the name of God. You know, when you feed the hungry, when you teach the underprivileged to read, when you comfort the mourner, when you visit the sick, when you go and visit the prisoner in prison, this is Kedush Hashem. You are upholding the name of the Lord. You are revering the name through the way you love others. We can blaspheme God, not only by using the name of God as a curse, but also through the way we treat people around us. We can blaspheme in the way we treat creation, in the way we treat ourselves. But we can revere God. We can, we can uplift the name of God as Christ followers in many ways. We can love people around us. But up, that would uplift the name of God. We can, we can bring honor to God in the way we treat creation. We can show love to God in the way we love ourselves. May your reverence of God, Jesus and Spirit, be such or be to such an extent that it be seen in your love of others, in your love of creation, in your love of yourself. Until we meet again, God bless.